K-tone travel guitar. I've got some traveling to do pretty soon, and I'd like to take a little guitar with me. So when I saw this on eBay for a really inexpensive price, it's about 70 bucks, I decided to pick it up, sight unseen. Well, let this be a cautionary tale for you about buying cheap guitars on the internet, because this thing is a piece of junk. I tell you, there's so many problems. Now, it looks nearly identical to a Hofner Shorty, which is a generally pretty well-reviewed travel guitar at about twice the price. My theory is actually that it is a Hofner Shorty, uh, just with the nameplate changed out of the same factory in China. And for whatever reason, I mean, maybe it fell off the back of a truck or a beginning student built it on their first day. Uh, I don't know. So they mark it as an off-brand and sell it at half the price. I don't know whether that's true or not, but that's my theory and I'm going with it because... Uh, the list of defects goes beyond me just being nitpicky. I mean, check out this this tone pot right here. It's like barely even attached to the guitar and it doesn't work. Uh, I mean, that's fixable, but a lot of the other things aren't. Uh, there's little dents and milling marks uh, throughout the guitar, a little dents in the fretboard. Uh, the screws that are attaching the bridge to the body here have been torqued way too tight and the slots are distorted. The neck looks like it may have actually been broken at some point. This join right here is really uneven. This side of the neck is a uh, relatively nice smooth maple and then past the join here it's really uh, rough textured uh, maple and just, that join just really feels bad in your hand. The frets aren't seated very well. I mean there's actually some gaps uh, there in the fretboard. The tuners, really imprecise, don't hold their tune very well. I don't know, what more can I say? It's, uh, it's going back. <laughs> I'm going to return it. And my search for a travel guitar will continue. Uh, I have my eye on the Traveler Guitar Escape series, which is a lot more expensive. Um, and maybe that's the moral of the story. I mean, for 70 bucks, what do you expect? Uh, I know if I was putting together a guitar from, from scratch myself, the cost of components before I even got to the pickup, let alone the labor, would be over 70 bucks. So uh, I guess you get what you get. So for now, I can't particularly recommend the K-Tone Traveler guitar, at least not this one. And uh, I'll let you know if I find something better. Thanks for watching.